Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a minute, but we're back in it. You are watching Versus with your boy, 100K. Fresh off vacation. Just came back from Atlanta. And um, during the course of the trip, I should have shot this bitch from Atlanta, as a matter of fact, but I did But anyway, during the course of the trip, as I was riding, right, I was thinking, what is the value of of knowledge like I'm gonna let y'all ponder that for a little minute like think about that the value of knowledge how much is information really worth and does it outweigh monetary gain or is the physical well-being of one's subconscious enough to sustain you without monetary gain. Yeah. Controversial, deep, all that shit. We're hitting you this week. This edition of Versus, we're doing intelligence versus ignorance. The age of information. See you on the other side. Nothing wrong. You don't know what it is, but it's there. Uh, nah, I definitely nah, agree I with that shit. That shit right. <laughs> Damn, Beretta, man. Fuck. Bro, I know you got bicycle, man, but you gotta think sometimes. Shit. Shit. Some of this shit don't even shit. Oh, bro. I was talking to my duckers. I've been holding up. Listen, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who the real nigga in it? Alright, so first off, let me explain what I mean when I say intelligence versus ignorance. What I'm saying is, would you rather know things or rather not know things? That's the simplistic term in which makes it easier to grasp. Now, on its face value, that seems like a very, very simple question with a very simple answer. Yes, why would you not want knowledge? Why would you not want to know things that you don't know? And... Like I say, on its face value, that is very understandable. But ask yourself, right? You ever heard the saying, be careful what you wish for? I'm going to run a couple theories across you. Then we're going to get into our normal debate on verses as we normally do. This is just something that just kind of piqued my interest to see how people respond to this. Let's say... You had to know either where you were going to die, when you were going to die, or how you were going to die. Like, you got to know one of them. You can't, like, omit it and cover your ears. Like, one of those will be revealed to you. Now, me personally, I feel like death is one of the easiest things to um, illustrate the point that I'm trying to make. You don't really want to know when you're going to die. You may say you do, but you don't. Let's say you you chose you want to know the how, right? Let's say the how might be a lightning strike or some shit like that. So for the rest of your life, are you gonna like try to avoid lightning? Let's say your how is a car accident. Are you gonna avoid cars for the rest of your life? Let's say you say you wanna know when. Okay, cool. Let's say they give you the date, time, everything down to a T. What's going to happen a week from that time? Or Two or three days before that time. Or a couple of hours before that time. Do you know how fucking crazy that shit would drive you? You know what I mean? That's why it sounds easy until you really think about what's being what's being addressed here. So, when we're doing intelligence versus ignorance, let's start with intelligence. There's a difference between 
intelligence and being smart. That's the first thing I want to like throw out there because a lot of people think that they're one and the same. A person can be relatively dumb, for lack of better words. Low IQ, not having a great vocabulary, not having um, great intellect, or maybe not very articulate, this, that, and the third. That would make him uneducated. That would make him maybe less smart than some others. Doesn't mean he's not intelligent. For example, is a squirrel intelligent? Think about that. The squirrels that you see running across your yard early in the mornings. Obviously it's not, right? Because it can't talk, it can't read, it can't do the shit that you can do. Obvious, right? Let me ask you this though. If you had no income, you had no money, no shelter, no house, no family, no nothing, just you, and you were stranded on some secluded island, how long you think you can survive? Well, you know where food is? Would you know how to store food? Would you know how to reproduce? How to keep your genes still being vibrant? Squirrels do. Think about that, they're rodents. And they're not like the rats and mice that live within the shadows. They live right amongst us. But what they figured out is how to keep their numbers up by not getting in the way. Like, they're cousins to rats. People see rats as ugh, ugly, ill. As soon as you see one, you want to kill the whole colony. It's bad for the population. But squirrels, most times you see squirrels not even thinking twice. Because they live on the fringes of society. They know when it's time to harvest nuts. They know when it ain't going to be no nuts. So they take nuts when they're plentiful and save them for when they're not plentiful. Now to me, that's a sign of intelligence. Not necessarily smart, but intelligence. Meaning it's using intel and information, processing that information to help it sustain its life. Now, a person that's smart may not necessarily be intelligent. Meaning, a monkey can memorize sign language. A monkey may even be taught or trained how to communicate. But, what that actually is showing is a certain level of memory. Like, not necessarily a cognitive function, but memory. If you study for a test and you're taking notes, what you're exercising is your ability to remember the information that you just looked up. Fun fact, true intelligence, those with high IQs aren't gonna be the ones that's making all A's and straight A honor roll students. Most of the times, it's gonna be the ones who get by in spite of whatever else they may be into, whatever else they may be doing. Like, some people may just use common sense, just common thought process and put together answers that it may have took someone else weeks to read and study and research and take notes. I never was a good note taker. So I'm not taking away nothing from people who uh do they do diligence, this, that, and the third. But if it's something that interests me, what I realize is my level of reasoning and comprehension, it starts working on its own. You know what I mean? It's like I can reason based on experience and my own logic without 
needing a book or a professor or someone that's quote unquote educated to give me his spin on it because that's gonna lead into our second segment which is ignorance now when we speak about intelligence the downside to intelligence as I pointed out with the death scenario is I do believe there are certain things that we wasn't meant to know some things we aren't going to know and I think certain instances knowledge will fuck up the rest of your well-being you know what I mean like mind trivia would you rather have a million dollars then lose it then be broke or be broke and have never had a million dollars now those who don't really think that don't really put a lot of thought into their responses are gonna say well duh I want a million dollars even if I lose it problem is if you have a million dollars even if you have it for five minutes you're a millionaire right if you lose it you've had to come down from a millionaire down to poverty if you was always in poverty and never been a millionaire or even close to it you won't have no drop off no fall no hurt no pain no suffering no agony no nothing it's just normal the point that i'm trying to make is if you only know what's in front of you and you're ignorant to the rest around you it's not always a bad thing you know what i mean it's not always a bad thing because in the moment in the right now because technically there is no such thing as the present like i'm gonna get real deep with y'all it really ain't no such thing as the present there's the future then there's the past each second that goes by it goes from future to past just like that so the present the right now that you're living in is an illusion you know what i mean but at the same time it's where you are in the realm of space time but if you intake too much knowledge too much intel you will end up wasting that time thinking about something that's in the future that hasn't happened yet and once it comes to pass you will realize that all the time that was in front of you you wasted preparing for something that if you wouldn't have knew anything about it wouldn't have been nothing on your agenda it wouldn't have been nothing that crossed your mind it's like if somebody came and told you an asteroid was going to crash and blow up the whole earth tomorrow that's going to fuck up all your plans for the rest of the day won't it it's going to change everything you had planned matter of fact it might make you do a whole bunch of shit that you probably wasn't going to do right then come to find out the asteroid don't hit you didn't waste it that day. Now, if the asteroid do hit, but you ain't know nothing about it, it's going to be a normal day, normal night. You're going to go about life as you normally would without a care in the world. Smiles, happy, uh, guts and glory, all that type of shit. <laughs> Till you look up and pop. The point I'm making is, don't stress yourself worrying about the potential things that may be coming. Because sometimes ignorance really is bliss. But information can give you an advantage if you know how to use it. Information can be just as valuable as currency. But you got to know how to wield it. For example, if you came up, right? Let's say you came up on $20,000. Because you came up on $20,000 and you got, let's say, 10 homies, right? You gonna give each homie two thousand dollars to make it even, so all y'all like be the same, have the same amount. Hell, fuck no. More than likely, you probably won't let them know you got twenty thousand dollars. Y'all probably a hang out, party, this, that, and the third. But you not gonna split what you have equally with all of them because it's yours. You should look at information and intellect the same way. 
every piece of knowledge or every piece of information that you come across is more valuable if less people have it. And those who don't quite get that concept, everything they know, they tell Jack, Jill, John, Paul, whoever. And they lose their power because if everybody know the same thing you know, then you're nothing. You're a nobody. Not to say you're not smart, but your intellect, your intelligence level would be at very best average because you've given everyone the information that you have. You think the motherfuckers in the White House tell you everything they know? You think the billionaires tell you everything they know? Come on, man. This shit chess, not checkers, man. Now, let's see how the ignorance plays out. Man, that's crazy. But anyway, now on the ignorance tip. When I say ignorance, please understand I'm not saying that in a um, humiliating, derogatory way. I'm not saying it in a uh, bring someone down or trying to uh, call a person dumb. Like, that's shallow. Like, really look at the definition of ignorance. Ignorance basically just means not aware of or not knowing. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example... If I'm in a soundproof room, right, with no windows, and it's raining outside, I would be ignorant to the weather. You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit I'm talking about, because I know y'all be trying to play these word games. Anyway, ignorance. As I was explaining about intellect and intelligence, there's good, there's bad. Same thing with ignorance. You may say, well, how can being ignorant have any, any positives whatsoever? That's why I started off by saying, if you had to know when, how, or where you would die, which one would you pick? Now, up until you get that information, you're ignorant to your death. Meaning, you don't know when you're going to die. You don't know how you're going to die. You don't know where you're going to die. The good in that is that you were probably wasn't thinking about dying until I just bring that question up. You're living your life for the moment. Whatever you're doing, that's what you're doing. You're doing it in a ignorant bliss somewhat. You know what I mean? And I don't think that's a bad thing, right? Because it's over like 7.9, probably probably about 8 billion, probably even more than that now, humans on the planet Earth, right? And the average human, even a good, healthy, non-drinking, non-smoking human, life expectancy is probably going to be at what? 70, 80? You know what? Fuck it. We'll say a hundred years. A hundred years life expectancy for all the people that's alive, right? In about a thousand years, everyone who's alive today, believe it or not, no matter how fucked up it sounds, is gonna be somewhat irrelevant. You're going to have children that's 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 going to keep your bloodline uh, flowing. It's going to keep your genetics uh, prevalent. But at the same time, you as an individual will probably be lost in memory. You don't believe me? Tell me this. Who is your great, 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 that was eight greats. Don't know, do you? Probably have to look it up. Probably have to pay some DNA ancestry thing to look it up for you. The point that I'm trying to make is they would have had no way of knowing what 2023 looked like back in 
1800s, 1700s, or whatever. Just like we would have no way of knowing what the year 3000 would look like. But we don't live our lives pondering it, worrying about it. We're ignorant to it. We live in our time and we make the best that we can of our time. We try to leave an impact on the world as best we can. Well, some of us do. <laughs> Some of us do. Some of us just be like, fuck everybody. That's why we have all these mad shootings and shit. But point I'm making is there's a lot of things that we're ignorant to that we don't realize we're ignorant to, but it's necessary for human survival. You know what I mean? If all information was all transparent, right? And everybody knew the same thing that everybody else knew. And everybody knew what the future holds, it'll be chaos, it'll be anarchy, it'll be extinction, to be perfectly honest, that's exactly what it would be, it would be total extinction, annihilation, you know what I mean, that's why, believe it or not, there is positives for ignorance, as a country, here, right here in the USA of America. The reason why I feel, is my opinion, not fact, but my opinion. The reason why I feel we have so many conspiracy theories about John F. K., um, Area 51, UFOs and shit, 9-11, uh, like, the reason we have all of these conspiracy theories, in my opinion, I believe it's because the government and other higher up aficionados have levels of intel, of information that they're not going to tell us. But they'll water it down with all of these different theories so if you do fuck around and uncover the truth it'll just sound like another conspiracy but more times than not the simplest explanation usually is the correct one for example area 51 do you really think the motherfuckers hiding aliens in that bitch you feel me? You really think they got like unidentified flying objects like flying saucers and shit from another planet? Which one makes more sense? Them bitches been spying on other countries. They done probably took some of their fucking flying vessels or some of their military equipment and they hiding that shit, breaking all kind of fucking, uh, what they call that shit? War crimes. And to keep the public in the ignorant stage, they tell you, oh, flying saucer crashed. Or they got aliens in there. If you a country as big as the USA breaking all kind of global rules, wouldn't you prefer everybody think you hiding UFOs? Instead of knowing that you're really just breaking all the laws that you helped put in place. Because I do believe that it's too many people with power within this great country we live in to let any one of these other countries, whether it be over oil, whether it be over diamonds, whether it be over salt, silk, whatever natural resource. Like, if it come down to a bitch feel like they want to go to war and they don't see no win, but they trying to get uranium or some fucking nuclear weapons where they going to just say, fuck it, we just going to blow up the world. I promise you, that shit won't happen. Them bitches is spying on everybody, watching everybody. If you even say the wrong shit, a bitch gonna be knocking on your door. But they're not gonna tell you that. They're gonna tell you some old kind of conspiracy shit about this, that, and the third. Point that I'm trying to make is they use information as currency, as levels of power. And they keep everybody 
in the ignorant stage because they float so many bullshit ass stories out and people run with it because it makes them feel like they smarter than the next bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's why you get something as simple as like a 9-11 and you have so many people thinking the government like did it to themselves. Like, why would they go through all of that when they could have just, if they wanted to pass a law about war and oil and weapon treaties, they would have just did that shit. You think they would have killed 3,000 people? Come on, man, y'all, you gotta really think logically. The point that I'm making is, they would rather you think that they were so conniving and so smart that they some kind of way plotted themselves other than thinking that they really just got caught with their pants down by some motherfuckers who really shouldn't even be on a level to even say they declare war on the United States. But they did. point that I'm trying to make is Use intelligence. Don't use generic smarts or memory or reading in books and listening to other people and what they present to you as information. Take your own experiences, dissect it, and be objective. The hardest thing is for people to be objective. A lot of times we tend to see what we want to see Hear what we want to hear. Find what we want to find. So, in conclusion. Intelligence versus ignorance. Speaking for me. Because I can't speak for none of y'all. Speaking for me. Because I am a realist. And I would rather know the grim reality of whatever situation I'm facing I will always pick intelligence even though I'm intelligent enough to realize I will always be in the ignorant stage that's a lot I just said a lot so I'm gonna break that down what I mean what I mean is I prefer to be in the in the know in the intel in the information age but I understand that it's always going to be information that I'm ignorant to. It's always going to be something that's affecting me or will affect me that I will have no knowledge of. All I can do is see what's in front of me, do the best I can with what I have, but I don't know what tomorrow brings. I don't know if I might walk outside and drop dead. I don't know if I might walk outside and find a fucking lottery ticket with $20 million. I don't know. But that ignorance frees me up to enjoy this very second. You know what I mean? I'm not really thinking about it because it hasn't happened yet. You know, you can make these plans. You can make all of these um goals for yourself right but you have to make it to that point in order to exercise it so i'm really in the ignorant category to be real but i would prefer to get as much intelligent or as much information as possible to answer that question that we started off with, if they was to ask me the how or the where or the when I would die, for me it's simple. Just let me know when. Don't really care how, don't really care where. The when is what's important because if they say it'll be March the 8th of 2000. 83 Then up until 2082 I'm like a fool You know what I'm saying If they say that shit might be tomorrow Then you know Gotta make peace this that and the third But the how in the world are irrelevant Cause all you're gonna do is end up spending That little bit of time that you have left Trying to avoid The things that killed you 
when in actuality there's no one that's going to live forever in the flesh I mean it's biology simple mathematics chemistry however you want to put it but you have to be objective and real enough to admit that to yourself so come again next week we gonna have something else real controversial and spooky pushing all kind of buttons make you motherfuckers think make you motherfuckers feel like doing something different I bet you ain't think about that shit today so see me again next Friday at 8 o'clock right here on WBG Network 100k signing out